ago, I uh, traveled to the uh, Middle East and was going for eight days. And all it took was everything in this bag. Not this bag and a roller bag or this bag and a carry-on, but just this bag. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, some of you may be thinking, so? You know, they let you check bag, extra bags, they, uh, you can take a carry-on for free. A couple days before I went on my big trip, my, I was laying all my stuff out, I was getting all my stuff in my, in my backpack, I'm kind of walking around. My wife gives me this kind of a disapproving look and says, uh, you're, you're kind of obsessive, aren't you? Well, maybe, but I just think there's a lot of positives to traveling with one bag. For instance, you have freedom. If you want to change flights, you want to move up, you want to move back, you want to see things that you hadn't really planned to see, you just take your bag and you go. You got the security of carrying less stuff. You have to stow less, guard less, and you don't have to wait for anything. You just go. And also, you have the reduced cost. You don't have to pay for extra bag fees. You don't have to tip the, the bellman extra to uh, carry your bags around. And you could take public transportation because you're not carrying that much, or even maybe to walk. There's uh, a travel guru, Rick Steves, who says, travel light, wash frequently, <laughs> and take and buy what you need. Rick Steves has a passion for traveling. <laughs> when I uh, started to prepare for my uh, trip, I came up with a little system to, uh, to get organized and to travel with one bag. I came up with the acronym OPEN. It's open-minded, prepared, execute, and not worry. So first you need to start with a, an open mind. For me, opening the mind, open the mind is pack twice the money and half the stuff. If you don't need it, don't take it. When you know you need it, go and buy it. The, the other idea is to, you know, you're taking less, you're taking fewer clothes, so you're gonna have to wash some of those clothes. And you have to wash in your sink or shower. And this is where the open mind is very close with my wife. This is, not a, this is kind of a non-starter with the one bag system with her. But in order to, to execute this, you need to think about washing your clothes uh, while you're on the trip. And also you need to think about what you're going to take. You, you're going to need to think about wrinkle-free clothes. You're going to have to uh, think about things that are going to compress a little bit more. You have to think about clothes that are more compatible, and so you're not taking lots of extra clothes or in addition, you need to think about your shoes. You know, one shoes, maybe two pairs at the most. They're the heaviest items. You really need to limit how much you wear, you uh, take your shoes. In addition, you know, think about your your uh, your phone or as uh, as a device to take books, take your itinerary, take uh, a guidebook, pictures. Use that as a tool to reduce what you're taking. Also, if you're in a hotel, uh, you can use the computer at the hotel. You can also uh, use the cyber cafe maybe by to reduce uh, your, your weight by not taking your, your laptop. Once you think about being open-minded, <clears throat> you need to prepare. And in, prepar in my preparation, I utilized a few websites, including onebag.com, rei.com. But really the key to preparation is to think like Santa Claus. Santa Claus would make a packing list he would uh, check it twice, or in my case, <laughs> ten times, and then he would eliminate all the naughty items. And when you're trying to pack light, the naughty items are, are the heavy items. When you, you're all prepared, you start to execute your plan. And in execution, you need to lay out all your items. And in laying out all your items, you only lay out those items that are on your packing list. And that's the critical thing, to keep that, keep, keep the, the weight down. As you uh, lay out your items, you, then you pack them. And you, you test out uh, your packing system. Maybe you're going to use some packing cubes. Maybe you're going to use some compression bags to, again, keep, keep everything tight in there. And then you're going to test it out. Put in your bag. Make sure it doesn't weigh too much. Make sure it's comfortable to carry around. And, and that's, that's when you, uh, you've executed your plan, and now you not worry. You, you have your core items that you need, you've uh, you got some extra cash if you need to buy something, and you really don't worry about taking a nap. 
and uh, not worry about your items. As you, um, again, as you use the open system, I believe there's a lot of, a lot of benefits to taking less stuff. There's a, a belief that there's an inverse proportionate uh, view that the less stuff you take, the more enjoyment you're going to have. When you, when, when uh, my wife, going back to her question of, are you obsessive about packing light? Definitely, I'm obsessive. Mr. Toastmaster, 